hello guys good morning good afternoon good evening depending on wherever you're watching me from it's your baby girl sarah in the building yeah guys we'll be talking about things that you can do that can easily destroy your star slash can destroy your spirit man the first thing we'll be talking about alcohol Alcohol is something that doesn't go with the spirit man at all. It kind of wash away your star. It kind of wash away your, your, your spirit man. It doesn't make your spirit man to be alive. It kind of kills the spirit. Alcohol is something that even health-wise is not a good thing. It's not a good thing. And the Bible talked about alcohol in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 18. And it says do not be drunk with wine instead be drunk with the holy spirit that just tells us that the holy spirit and alcohol doesn't go together you can be a spirit person like we humans we are both spirit and physical the spirit controls the physical like they say they help people or doctors will say whatever happens inside that's what manifests outside if your health is looking bad outside it means the inside possibly the possibility of it not looking good healthy is very high so the inside controls the outside how the outside appears just tells us more about the inside okay that is how it is with the spirit world with our with our human bodies with our human uh, uh, with our our life on earth anything that happens in the physical has once as first of all happened in the spirit realm so we can use alcohol to damage that alcohol and spirit doesn't go together i'll be touching so many i'll be leaving on the screen some some chapters quotations that can can reveal more about the damages alcohol can cause to your spirit man it's something that causes you to be down instead of up and when your spirit man is down there is nothing that can work for you in the physical nothing can work for you in the physical except you want to live by the flesh and you can be going about doing your things as if things are working for you but they are not working for you for you sorry guys just imagine i usually give people example when they say oh i drink but i don't drunk okay drunkenness is a sin and drinking is not a sin jesus turned water into wine yes we know that we know that but did you verify the kind of wine he turned it because the bible says what when we drank it when the people drank it they were happy they were merry okay and you can't be happy in your own terms you didn't know the kind of happiness we're talking about when someone drink alcohol drinks alcohol it makes the person happy in a bad way because the happiness makes you to speak nonsense the happiness makes you to talk to over talk you know so it is something that we are not going to dispute about this just imagine the president of a country inviting you for a meeting in the presidency are you going to drink one glass just one glass of alcohol you're not going to do that right just imagine you have a, a job interview let's say by 10 o'clock and you say okay let me drink a little bit at eight o'clock so that you know i can be strong bold i can be happy you won't do that right because you're scared of the interviewer getting the smell of your boss getting the smell you know that it can be bad alcohol affects the brain there are many things that alcohol can do to you to your health that are not that is not good also in the spirit man is the same thing it affects the spirit man it compromises your faith so you can't be the same it can be really disastrous i'm going to be leaving some quotations on the screen and a little bit of explanation for you to know the effects of alcohol in your spirit the second one we are going to be talking about lies telling there are many people who are involved in lies telling and do not know how dangerous lies can 
affect your spirit man do not know how dangerous life is to the spirit i can tell you from experience that i know of one person that is so truthful so truthful i wish to be half of him my dad half of him my dad each time i talk about truth i think of that man ah my sister we used to call him truth sometimes you can easily you can think we are like blaspheming because it's like it's only god that is truth but he is so truthful in a way that we are tempted to use that word on him he was so truthful so truthful when it comes to truth he doesn't joke with it so lifestyling is something that stains your spirit just the fact that you lie around just the fact that you go about telling lies can never bring success to you you might think that those things that you acquire due to lifestyling you might think these are blessings remember the bible says the blessings of the lord make a rich a man and added no sorrow and make it rich a man and added no sorrow which means that only good blessing the only place good blessing can come from is from god and God and lifestyling does it go together? It doesn't go together. So watch out. Lifestyling is something that kills the spirit. Lifestyling is something that brings down your spirit man. It can never uplift your spirit man. Before you know it, it will start affecting your physical. So run away from it. I'm going to be talking about toxic relationship and toxic friends. Toxic toxic <laughs> toxic relationships and toxic friends there are many people who are very toxic in the world today so many and sometimes we we turn a blind eyes to things like that and do not know that those kind of things are things that easily um, affect our spirit man having a toxic friend trust me it can affect your spirit man because toxic friendship relationship uh, friend is something that when the, when i say this person is my friend is someone that i communicate with the person often I, I i chat with the person we share stories we talk with each other we laugh we meet we drink we, we chat you know my body like we do things together and doing things together with someone, like the Bible says, can two work together except they agree. You must be able to be like this person somehow to be able to work with that person, to be able to go with that person, to be able to blend, to be compatible with that person. You must be somehow like this person. So having a toxic friend around you, and how are you going to know a toxic friend? Like people are just going about having friendship and they say, how are we going to know about a toxic friend? This my friend haven't done anything to me. So but there are things has not done anything to me, but there are things that you can just put in place. You can think about your, your, the way you used to be. Has it changed? Do you lie often now? than before do you go about slandering people due to this friendship do you have a friend that you people are just gossip partners so it's something that you can know if this friend is adding value into your life or the person is just there to take from you and what that person is taking from you is taking from your spirit man it's taken from your star. Before you know it, you become worthless. Before you know it, you become empty. So we have to wash out with the kind of relationships that we keep around us, with the kind of friends we keep around us. You have to make sure that it is not toxic relationship you're keeping around you, toxic friendship you're keeping around you. We have to be careful morality also is another one it's a very strong one 
yeah immorality is something that most people practice these days just to satisfy the flesh all of us know what is immorality okay and when i'll be keeping some scriptures some um verse of the bibles uh verses of the bible um that i i did a little bit of research about and how you can read and also get some help um, from those scriptures okay and these are things that can easily uh, bring your spirit man down because like the bible says uh he that joined with a a, a another person a strange woman the bible make mention of a strange woman and a strange man okay he that joins with a strange man a strange woman a strange man which is, that is someone that is not your your partner someone that is not your husband someone that is not your wife uh, the, the bible calls him or her strange when you meet with that kind of a person you evolve in immorality with that kind of person that is sexual immorality it kind of stain your spirit person because that leaves you with um a kind of guilt and other things that comes with it there are many things that comes with that kind of um baggage yeah there's a lot that comes with it and remember this the sin of immorality sexual immorality is a sin that you see not just um, you sin um, against the Holy Spirit you sin against your own self how bad is that that can be so difficult that is something that can easily stain your spirit person without any struggle yeah that can easily stain your spirit person it can stain your star it can stain your star have you noticed that there are some girls that were very intelligent some men that were so intelligent it means immediately they got in into that age they got into that age where they started having sexual immorality they started having um, the act you know they start reduce reduce and uh, they start to their intelligence start to drop or their focus start to drop it's not just the physical it's in the spirit like the spirit controls the physical anything you see physical know that it has happened first in the spirit the spirit is battling the spirit is damaged it just takes god to be able to revive there is nothing that god can do even when the spirit is even taken away and there's nothing god is going to bring it back so there's nothing that is impossible for god to do like I said, I'll be leaving some uh, scriptures on the screen for you guys to read and understand more and understand more <laughs> on how sexual immorality can be can be very disastrous and dangerous to your spirit man. Disobedient to your parents can stain your star and it can also stain your spirit man. The recommendation of living long in the scriptures is honor your father and mother for your days to be long. The Bible says, children, obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. Anything that is not right can never work with your spirit man. Disobedience is something, especially to your parents, that can easily stain your spirit person. It can stain your star. There are many people moving around with a lot of baggage, with a lot of bad luck, with a lot of crazy curses following them just because of disobedience to elderly people because of disobedience to their parents both the ones in the Lord and their physical parents that God has placed for them to respect and live long there are many people that they have carried that sin that that load that cares following them because of disobedience to those parents that is something that can easily stain your star 
It can stain your spirit man to the fullest. We have to watch out. When the Bible, the Bible wasn't foolish or was not abnormal for that scripture to appear. The Bible says, honor your father and mother for your days to be long on earth. That is the only requirement. So let's be careful how we go about things because things like this can easily stain your spirit man. It can easily reduce your star. It can destroy your star. Let's be wise. The next one I'll be talking about witchcraft. What is witchcraft? You can go and go with it. A lot of practices that people practice these days. Remember, witchcraft is something that has to do with the spirit, the spirit world. How can you take two spirits, both the evil spirit and the Holy Spirit to put together? Does it blend? It can never blend. It can never blend. You can't be moving with two spirits. You have to choose one. You can't have the spirit of God in you and yet having the witchcraft spirit in you. And the witchcraft spirit will take over not because God is weak. Listen, not because God is weak, but God has given us a choice. The gift of choice. There is nobody on earth, I believe, that hasn't heard the word of God, that hasn't heard the voice of God through the Bible, through social media, through the pastors, through a friend, parents, even common morality will teach you that witchcraft is bad. So it is very important not to blend the two. If you want to stain your spirit man, then get into witchcraft. But witchcraft is not something you should practice as a Christian, witchcraft is not something you should practice even as a human being because that can remove your star and replace it with the spirit of darkness. So let's be careful with that. And the last point I'm going to be talking about bearing false witnesses. There's one thing that is going on in the body of Christ and also in the society today where someone can ask you, oh my God, where someone can ask you about a person that you don't even know or someone you know, and you start talking bad about that person. That's a very dangerous thing. It's among the Ten Commandments. Do not bear false witness. It stains the star in you. It makes your star to disappear completely. Do not say something bad to bring someone down just because you were asked to do so or just because you want to get your way. That is a very bad thing. It can easily wipe away your star. It can easily destroy your spirit man. The spirit of God should be kept clean. Your temple is the spirit of God. It should be kept clean. Your spirit man is your temple. It should be kept clean. So whatever we do, whatever we say, let's be careful not to make the spirit in us unclean not to make the spirit man our temple in us becomes dirty let's be careful so thank you so much for watching this video in case you haven't subscribed to my channel please do where to subscribe to my channel and click like on this video leave your thoughts on the comment section 
If there is anything you disagree or agree, please let's continue the chat on the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.